Hey guys, my name is Ace Roth, and today I'm bringing you a short clip from a gun game I played a while ago. Um, I have a decent opening run, I, I get to the HK pretty fast, uh, but I want to actually talk about what I do wrong in this game. Um, one thing that's very important to staying alive in Call of Duty is uh, making sure that you're making good decisions. You don't want to get in engagements that you're not going to win. Um, I know Woody's Gamertag calls it uh, controlling your engagements. It's very, it's very important. You want all your engagements to be on your terms and you want to make sure that um, you've always got the advantage if you can help it. Uh, so part of that is, especially in Black Ops, when you run into multiple people, you need to choose which ones to shoot first, choose whether or not you want to engage. So right here's the first mistake I make. I see that guy right beside me. For whatever reason, I choose to shoot at the guy on the left. Now, fortunately, these guys aren't very good, so I get the kill. There's the second mistake I make. I run out into the open like that with dual scorpions. I almost get killed and punished for it. So those are the two things I do wrong. Um, what I should have done there is, is even, though I, even though it worked out for me, I didn't play it very well. So what I should have done was control the engagement a little more, made sure that I wasn't, you know, running out in the open with a close range weapon, or, you know, making sure that I was choosing the guy that I was most likely to kill. Or, um, if you run into like three guys, if you're playing like TDM or something, not a not a wager match, if you're playing team deathmatch and you wanted to run into like three guys on the opposite team, you you in Black Ops especially, I mean Modern Warfare 2 you could spray them all down. But in Black Ops, you can't always do that. So you want to decide whether or not it's worth it to try to engage and take them all out, or if you want to wait for a better opportunity uh, so that you can make sure you're staying alive for longer. Uh, anyway, that's all for this video. Uh, I'm going to put out some more stuff, talk more about uh, making good decisions and target acquisition, and I'll s explain target acquisition a little bit more in the next few videos that I put out. Anyway, thanks for watching, and if you liked it, feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it.